I recognized that the physical structure of the building really wasn't on par with the mission that Barnard had um, and the direction that Barnard was heading, especially in a post-COVID world. And so it was just something that really spoke to me. I think it's a need that we always have known was there. Um, people enter the space and they know they're not coming here for, for the beauty of the sanctuary. They know they're coming here for the community. Um, so when they, anything that we've talked about, they are automatically excited for the project. Um, and. We're, we're hoping to be pioneers to get them, get them behind us. I think the sanctuary really needed a lot of work a long time ago. The pews were brought over from Patterson, and there's other parts to this within the architectural structure and how old the building is and changes that we can make to modernize and bring up security to where it should be. The synagogue obviously has been around for more than 100 years. It's obviously morphed with the times and will always continue to morph with the times. So it's really about what's culturally there that I think will not change. You know, inclusivity is going to be the number one thing. Um, I would say individuality as well um, is another important thing that I think is going to be in the future of Barnard. Um, and open-mindedness, you know, just things like this project around, okay, let's change the physical structure of the synagogue to really make sure we're around for the next 100, 150 years is going to be critical, I think, to Barnard's future. It's important to me to be involved in this from the beginning because we plan to be here for the long haul. We have raised our children from day one here, and we see them on the Bema, the future Bema, um, for their B'nai Mitzvah, and that's something that we are really excited about. Why did I donate so quickly? Because I didn't want to talk about it for so long and not want to lead by example. I've been involved for so long. And my fa family was involved before me. All of the connections that people make and I see people make on a daily basis with their children um, and the friendships that carry on way beyond the preschool years. I think that um, that people hopefully will think about all of those memories that they've had here and really commit to helping us along on this journey. And how could I not donate to this community and this environment that I helped be a part of? So it's pretty much a no-brainer. We're obviously all part of the community and this is something that's important for our collective futures, so we all need to come along for the journey. What I think is most responsible, and this is coming from the treasurer side as I, I lead the treasury for the campaign, is for everyone to do their part. You know, what they're comfortable with, what, what this means to them, and how they can really participate, whether that's time, donations, both, is gonna be something that each family really has to decide for themselves, but I really hope there's something they can bring um, to this campaign to really help progress it along, because it really is gonna take all of us. We invite you to join the Building Together campaign. To donate, please visit the campaign page on the Barnard Temple website.